Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about jockey wheels and in particular the wheel itself. Now, uh, I've had uh, my jockey wheel on this uh, particular caravan for about two or three years now. Uh, quite happy with it, but the actual wheel itself is knackered so it needs to be replaced. So what I'm going to be doing today is showing you how to do it. But before I do that, jockey wheels are a strange uh, item really. We all rely on them, we need them. It's an important part of our caravan. But they're all made by different manufacturers and they're also made in different ways sometimes. Some have actually a press spindle so that if the wheel goes then the whole jockey wheel has to be thrown away because you can't get it out uh, in order to replace it. Now, a decent one will have split pins in it so that you can remove the split pins and replace the wheel out. No matter what make it is, so long as it's got the split pins, you're good to go. So today's video, I'm going to show you how I'm going to replace mine. A uh, little bit of procedure on how I set the caravan up for safety and also some tools. So first of all, I think we'll talk about the tools. It's not a lot. Let's go and have a look. Okay, so this is what we're going to be using today. I've got a mat uh, to protect my knees on, and I've also got two pairs of pliers. Now, I couldn't find my long nose pliers today, which you might need depending on how the split pin has actually been bent. Uh, next to it, I've got my drill with my steady uh, winder in it. But if you don't uh, use a drill, then your normal manual will do. And I've got a tin of WD-40 as well, just in case we have an, an awkward moment and we may need to lubricate the spindle, then I can do that as well. So let's have a look now at the procedure in order to set the caravan up so that you can do this safely and a lot more easily. So when my caravan's in storage and I'm not going to be using it, I always leave that the handbrake off but uh, to do this job we're going to need it on. The next thing if you've got them get your wheel chocks out and chock both wheels uh, to the front to stop them uh, rolling forward. If you're on a hill obviously and it's sloping backwards then do it in the reverse. Now if you don't have uh, wheel chocks like I've got then you can always use pieces of wood or bricks but make sure they're substantial that they, you know they're going to hold the caravan should it move. So next what we're going to do is wind up all four steadies. So once the steadies are wound up, then wind up your jockey wheel. So it's raising the front of the caravan and lowering the rear. When you think you've got sufficient enough room underneath here to actually reach the jockey wheel, stop and then drop the steadies at the front. So once we're happy that the steadies are secure and uh, we've got that all organised, what we're going to do now is raise the actual jockey wheel up. So whilst we're winding the jockey wheel up, you will want to make sure that it, the jockey wheel itself actually fits inside the slotted section, like so, so it doesn't actually move around when you're ready to do this job. So with this particular jockey wheel, there's actually a split pin on either side and I'm hoping all I need to do is actually replace just the one split pin. So I'm hoping that I can take the split pin now, open it up with the pliers. And now we're going to take the split pin out. There we go. That's quite tough. Now, I wouldn't recommend you use the uh, split pin that you've taken out. It's quite mangled and distorted. Either replace it or if you've got one that comes with yours, use the one that's been supplied. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to tap the spindle out like so. Now this is a mucky job, I will tell you, as you'll see in my hands. So as you see, it's now actually out now. So what we can do now is replace it with the new one. So I'll get on with that now. 
Okay, before you start actually inserting the axle, what you want to do is just offer it up and just make sure it actually fits and it's the right size for your actual jockey wheel. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the spindle and insert it from the other side and line it up with the actual centre of the wheel itself. Hopefully, at some point, that will come through. Might have to tap it with a pliers just to encourage it to go through. Slowly working its way in. Now tap that on and make sure that you're happy with it, like so. What we're going to do now, we're going to insert the fresh split pin in here. Make sure it goes all the way through and then bend it back. Actually, I think I'll use my other pliers with it as well. Just try and stop that split pin from moving while we bend it. Okay, so I had to do the actual split pin off camera because it was getting in the way of the camera itself. Now, uh, it can be a bit of a faff. If you've got some long nose pliers or needle nose pliers, whichever you, way you want to call them, I'd recommend you use them over the normal fat ones because they do tend to uh, inhibit it a little bit. Now, I've done mine now and I'm not happy with it fully. So when I find my needle nose pliers, I'm going to bring them back and bend it around a little bit further. But I'm sure you get the gist of how you do it. The next thing you do is just wind down the jockey wheel uh, so that it's uh, supporting the caravan. So I'm going to do that now. Now what I can do to make that easier is just drop the actual jockey wheel down a bit more. That's better. So the next thing we need to do now is raise the actual steadies so that we can level off the caravan or slope it whichever way you choose to. Drop the steadies again and we're good to go. Well folks, that's how I changed the wheel on the jockey wheel. Really pleased with the job, very simple, very quick to do. Um, I did notice that my spindle was covered in grease, uh, which is good. Uh, if yours isn't, give it a good greasing before you put the spindle back through the new jockey wheel. It'll uh, be a, a lot easier and allow it to spin a lot e easier and quicker. Now, one thing I wasn't really happy with, and that's just basically down to a tool problem, I didn't bring my needle nose pliers because I'd like to just bend that cotter pin a little bit more. So uh, I'll do that next week when I find my actual needle nose pliers. I'm sure they're somewhere in the garage. Well, this was a, quite a quick and easy job to do. I hope you'll have a go yourself. Thank you very much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up, share with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed to us already, please subscribe. It does help the channel and it's free as well. And don't forget the notification bell. It'll uh, let you know when I've uploaded a new video. But in the meantime, bye for now.